Okay guys, you've been waiting very patiently. I've seen your comments, I've seen what you guys want, and finally, the time has come for me to give it to you. That's right, I'm gonna make the other guys create D&D characters. And just like, roll the intro. All right guys, like I said in the intro, I am making some of my co-hosts make a D&D &D character. And the first person up is none other than Mr. Mark Elvin. <laughs> Cue the crowd cheering. Cue the crowd cheering. Sound effects. We'll, we'll add it in post. We'll add it in post. <laughs> I'm Mark. Yeah, you I'm guys Mark. probably don't know me. Who are you and how did you get into this building, sir? I'm but, excited. I mean, like, because we, like, I you spent play hours. League. I spent right. hours. Like, you don't even understand. Like, on Sims, mm -hmm. I, it's not Sims. It's character it's creation. It's character creation. It's, like, my favorite part of any game. It's my favorite. And in D&D, &D, the fun thing is, is there's so many options. So, I wanted to see what Mark ends up with, what his first D&D &D character might is be. Is this, like, the Sorting hat from Harry it Potter. It is like the sorting okay. hat, but there's way more than so four can you, options. Can you pick? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Like you can pick. So I'm. Okay, I'm if I don't like my my person at the very end, can I pick a necromancer? What? <laughs> you just know that word. That's <laughs> it, right? Can I, I, can I pick a necrophilia? Necrophilia. Oh boy. I don't think it means what you think it means. I mean, you can. That would be a different class entirely. <laughs> I have a lot of questions here, and I'm gonna like, I'll kind of walk you through it, and I'll tell you a little bit about each thing as we kind of get through. But basically, these are just to kind of like gently guide you yeah. towards what I think you might actually enjoy to play. I wish we had like a 24-hour camera in the office, but Seth literally <laughs> talks about D&D all the time. It's well, like that meme, no one. No, <laughs> no one. <laughs> Seth, you know, in D&D. <laughs> <and D. laughs> all right, so the first step in character creation process in D and D, is picking what race you want your character to be. Oh, which is the prettiest? The prettiest? Oh, that's not one of my questions. Shit, that's oh, a good one. Okay. Um, which one is the prettiest? Oh man, that's tough. I mean, hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Pause. This we'll, we'll edit over this in post. That's what a beholder is. He's kind of sexy. Yo, yeah, yeah, you're into that. The I saw it. Yeah, I'm a good octopus. Alrighty then. Would you want to play a human? Uh -huh. or a very human-like character, or something like much more exotic, like a very non-human character. Oh my god. Probably a human. I'm like, very vanilla. Okay. Well, that's the one like with the most outfit, outfit choices. The most outfit choices? Yeah. I would say humans. Okay, I'll, I'll go with humans. Okay, he's a human. Okay. All right, human, first up. Well, shit, then you're a human. I can skip all the rest of these questions. <laughs> I wrote nine questions for I'm your mom. Sorry, I'm it's vanilla. okay. One, they get to speak common, which is like, it's the like most common language okay. in D&D. And then they get one other language of their choice. Chinese. Where they come? There you go, Chinese. Excellent. I mean, Chinese technically could be a language in D and D, but the languages in D and D are like giant, draconic, which is what dragons speak, okay. primordial, which okay. is like what elementals speak, orcish, elvish, dwarvish. Oh, elvish. Deep speech, which is like beholders speak deep speech. Uh -huh. Whoa. I think I'm too feminine for that. Too feminine? Yeah. I bet you would like elvish. Because it's very like pretty like and sing song. Or celestial. Celestial Ooh. sounds like it's what angels speak. But so. I'm like Loki Satan, so. Loki Satan? Maybe you like... can speak infernal. Oh! Uh huh. Can I be a human infernal? Is that a thing? If you wanted to be a human that is descended from devils, you can be that. Oh! Oh, plot twist! I think Mark's a tiefling. Oh boy. Oh God, it's called a tiefling. They're like humanoids who have like devilish traits. Like sometimes Paul's they have red skin. The, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the power of Christ compels you! Um, but, JK, <laughs> um, but no, there's tieflings and uh -huh. they are like, so they're humanoids. They're descended from devils. Some of them like look very human and just uh -huh. have horns. Others are like red skinned with like really big curves. See, I want to look like an angel, but I want to be a devil. Ooh. I want to be pretty, like with blonde hair. Ooh, you could be, long you hair. could be descended from, you could be a tiefling who has like succubus ancestry. Oh. I don't know what that means. Succubus are me succubus are like are like very very beautiful devils oh, who yeah. like lure men. Oh my in, gosh, they have everything. Yeah, yeah, they lure men into like. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, they're succubus who are crazy. Are there like sirens in the yeah? Oh, there's sirens. Is that like a race? Yeah, you could be like. Well, you could you could homebrew it. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick with succubus. Succubus. Okay, Mark is a tiefling. Race done. Okay, cool. Now. On to our class selection. Oh, for sure, mage. For sure, okay, for sure, mage. Second. First okay. question. Excellent. Marshall, half caster or caster? We're just gonna go straight into the caster section. How do you envision your character's magic? Is it an innate gift that they were born with that maybe comes from their like devilish heritage? Mm -hmm. Is it like a family curse or an ability that stretches back generations? Do they get their powers from like 
the elements themselves uh, did like an ancestor of yours agree to serve, or, or did your character agree to serve like a powerful entity and get power in exchange for their service? Um, are they self-taught or are they someone who like had to study a lot to learn their abilities? Does your character rely on like the force of their personality more? And like, do they sort of like will, do they will like bend things to their will or are they more like precise and practice? They bend things to their will. They bend things to their will? Yes. Okay, okay. And they also okay. bend, if you know what I mean. Be <laughs> they can okay. lure all the men. <laughs> so they're, they're <laughs> Come to me. I think I know what what class oh, you want to pick. Okay. Um, so they didn't make a deal to, in exchange for their power. Wait, can I be a mage and a ranger? Because I like. Can I be like? A, can I have a bow and arrow that has like magical powers? You could be. I mean, you could be. Yeah, like we could. Hybrid? You could get into a multi-class build if you wanted to. I like that. Okay. I want that. Interesting. I think that you would enjoy. I, this is my final verdict. Okay, okay, I think okay. this is the final verdict on Mark's D and D character. I think you would enjoy playing. A tiefling, uh, divine soul sorcerer who isn't div who isn't divine in that you're angelic. You're divine in that like some very powerful demigod like entity. Oh, okay. Uh, like gifted is like somewhere in your lineage, or you had some sort of encounter with a servant of a demigod mm -hmm. or something with either a dip in fighter. Or you went full arcane archer. Yeah, I think that's what you like. Oh, I like that. I think you. But I can have like different things. Yeah, you can choose which ones you. Like, you I get. definitely want to have like a deadly arrow where I can kill, but I also want to have like a healing arrow where I shoot my two teammates. Ooh, and it's like healing a, It's like an injection. So it's like a COVID shot. Like arrows, right? <laughs> so like a COVID like, shot. Like, COVID <laughs> shot for you. Get back, bitch, and then you shoot. <laughs> I think we got it. Okay. I mean, it's tricky because, like, with D D, there's like you know there's certain rules. Sorry, like, it's you, so specific. You, but... it, it is very specific. But here's the cool thing about D D is like if it doesn't exist, you can make it. Oh. So oh like I would probably end up actually homebrewing or doing a version of a homebrew case. for your Ooh. specific character. And Not like, like both girls. Okay, I think we landed on it, Mark. You can cast some spells. You can cast some spells on your arrows, uh -huh. and then your arrows themselves can do magic stuff too. What's her I... name? What's she look like? She has like black shiny hair and glasses. Okay, okay. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just know she has long black hair. That's okay. shiny. Very also shiny. like diamonds in her hair. Okay. I want to have a cape. Me and <laughs> okay. feathers. I'm gonna jump really high. Cause I want to have a dragon too. So I'm gonna call my dragon. <laughs> Jesus <and> Christ. <laughs> And then it comes, and then I can like shoot people with my arrows on my dragon. Oh man, this is crazy. I you're a, you're an edge case, man. You I'm want so it all. This guy, <laughs> this guy. All right, guys. Well, we found it out. We figured it out. Mark wants to play a tiefling sorcerer, arcane archer build in Dungeons and Dragons. With the beast with a beast with a dragon with a pet dragon. God, you would be a DM's nightmare. You're gonna have to work really hard to get a dragon though. <laughs> Dragons aren't like they're not like house pets. Okay, how do I buy it? You can't <laughs> buy them. They're like. Dragons are crazy, man. Like a drag, a just born dragon in D&D could like flat out kill any normal person. Just like eat them. I'll take it to PetSmart. Take it to PetSmart? Yeah, the dog trainers. They eat the dog trainers too. <laughs> anyway, with, this has been Mark's D&D character creation segment. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will be probably coming back with one of the other hosts to figure out exactly what kind of character they want to play. I'll make them more powerful than me. I won't, I won't. And then, and then I'm gonna run you guys, I'm gonna make you guys build these characters and we're gonna run everybody, I'm gonna run you all through a one shot. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm what, do you, what do you think theirs is gonna be? Oh, that's, I don't know. Guess you have to wait and find out on the next one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Be sure to drop a comment. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Let us know down in the comments below what your favorite character creation rules are. If you have any homebrews, if there's anything you want to play in D&D that you haven't had a chance to, what you think of Mark's build, and what you think maybe our next host might be, uh, might be interested in playing or what you think they might pick. Anyway, let us know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and as always, game until you make it. it. Bye, Bye guys. guys.